Okay, today I'm going to go over the annotations for the, um, the different types of cubes. And I have a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three, um, that I'm going to go over. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the 3x3. Three three. And what I would like you to do first before you watch this tutorial is go to the description and click on the link and download the guide. To, from the you can do the cube website and this is going to help you out a lot because there are pictures with the annotations and they also have arrows to show you how the cube is moving and if you have that guide as you're watching this it's going to help you out tremendously so first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the cube a little bit and when I was a little kid and I first touched the cube which was a long time ago and I looked at the cube as a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different stickers just moving around the cube and that's probably the way that a lot of people see it and I didn't realize that each piece is actually a little cube and it carries several colors so for example these pieces right here carry two colors these ones right here carry three colors and then the middle ones right here don't just carry one color so when I'm moving this piece right here and I'm putting it on the correct side I have to make sure not only is this red on the correct side but this yellow is also on the correct side so this is going to play a very important part when you are solving the cube so let's go over the different types of pieces the first one I mentioned is the middle piece the thing that is very special about it is when I move all these different sides around the only one that does not change is going to be the middle piece. So when we're solving this, we have to make sure that this side ends up being red in the end. Same thing on this side. This side is going to have to end up being green because the middle color is green. All right. The next type are the edge pieces. The edge pieces are right here and they have two colors on them so this one has red and yellow and again when I place it into position I have to make sure that both colors are in the correct position and the last type of pieces are the corner pieces the corner pieces have three colors this one has yellow green and red again when I place these pieces I have to make sure that all three colors are in the correct position so those are the three types of pieces on a Rubik's Cube the next thing we're going to go into is different movements that you can do on a cube. So the first thing is this is going to be the top and we're going to denote this with a capital U. So when I say move your up layer, that means move this cube like this. And there are I know there are two directions that it can go. So this is going to be up and then if I say up inverted, that's going to be this direction and the way they came up with these different directions is if you look at the face or the side and you imagine a clock on here clockwise would be going in this direction so that's going to be the normal up counterclockwise would be in this direction so that would be the up inverted and let's go over the other pieces this side is going to be the right side this is going to be the left, this is going to be the down, this is going to be the front, and then the back is going to be in the back. And so if I say move your right, it's going to be going away from you like this. If I say move right inverted, it's going to be going towards you like this. If I say left, it's going to be going towards you. If I say left inverted, it's going to go away from you. And it's a little confusing because the right and the lefts are opposite of each other. So right normal is going to be going away from you and left normal is going to be going towards you. So um, it, if you practice with this a little bit, it, you should get over um, the initial confusion and it, it should become second nature to you which one's right which one's right inverted the next part is the down the normal down is going to be going to the right like this and down inverted is going to be going to the left like that so that concludes the uh, three by three annotations 
I am going to go ahead and move on to the 2x2. Two two. And if you watch the 2x2 two two tutorial and you just want to learn how to solve the 2x2, two two, um, you may just want to watch this part. It's really no different than the normal 3x3. Three three. So this is going to be our up, this is going to be our down, this is going to be the right, this one's going to be the left. So up normal would be this. Up inverted would be this direction. Right normal would be this direction. Right inverted would be this direction. Left would be this direction. Left inverted would be this direction. Down would be this direction. And down inverted would be this direction. This concludes the tutorial on annotations. Hopefully this will help you learn how to solve and interpret the different types of algorithms that you'll see with both the 2x2 and the 3x3.